And when I started reading your backgrounds, I said, wow, amazing. I'm in awe. I am the Chief Marketing Officer for St. John Providence Health System and we're a sponsor of Women of Excellence today and I'm very proud to be a sponsor. I'm excited because I'm being recognized by my peers and my sisters and that's exciting to me. Social media is not just a phenomenon today, but it's how to build your brand, how to really connect with people uh, personally, professionally, but I heard so many stories about how social media has really just expanded their business and just take them from local to national to international. So it, social media is no joke, it's for real. As you look around, you can see the accomplishments, uh, and we see this nationally. Black women are on the forefront of many of the firsts in our community. They're on the forefront of breaking down doors. They're on the forefront of keeping our families together and straight. It was amazing and people learned a lot, whether it was etiquette when it comes to social media, whether it comes to branding yourself, and just being better self, just making friends on social media, and it's just, it was wonderful. It was a great panel. What happens is, we do all of that and nobody pats us on the back and says, you know what, you done good. That's what we're here tonight to do. To say, we see you. We see you. You've done everything that we ask you to do. And you are successful. And you deserve to be honored today. You're the women we've been looking for. We don't have to dig in the history books and see what Sojourner Truth did, although she did so much, ain't I a woman too? We don't have to find out if Harriet Tubman led the way, although she did lead the way. And what I love about Harriet Tubman is that she carried a pistol. <laughs> I'm sorry, when I do my Second Amendment, I always say, you know, Harriet Tubman carried a pistol. And you know what that pistol? It was for those who ran back and told on her. That was fierce. Yes, she served in the Union Army. We don't have to dig so far back to Ida B. Wells, who took a stand against lynching and made sure the NAACP took a firm stand against lynching. We don't have to go back to Mary McLeod Bethune and understand the passion she had about education or even Dorothy Hyde to know the passion she had for service. All we have to do is look today in our program and read any bio to read the background and know that the women we've been waiting for are here. They're ready. They're making history now. Today, we celebrate you for your personal code of ethics, your exceptional courage, unwavering conviction, and extraordinary grace. It's an honor to induct you into our Society of Women of Excellence. Congratulations to each and every one of you on being named a 2014 Michigan Chronicle Woman of Excellence.